You're one person who knows a lot about politics and has been on the campaign trail speaking with voters and candidates is Kristen Welker, NBC's chief White House correspondent and the next moderator of Meet the Press beginning in September. Meet the Press is the longest running TV program in American history. And I have the honor of sitting down with Kristen to talk about her journey as a journalist and most importantly, a mom to her daughter, Margo. I know we just met. But I'm pretty sure the number one job that you have is being a mom. Little Margo, baby Margo, how is she doing? Margo is so wonderful. She is a blessing every minute of every day. She turned two this summer. She's walking. She's talking up a storm. She has become a master at extending her bedtime. <laughs> and I think to myself, how am I getting out negotiated by a two-year-old? You do a good job at putting your foot down politically at home. Do you think it's the same way you as a mom? Or are you like, you know, let's, we got to do this. We got to do that. Do you I, do my, that? my phrase with Margo is, this is non-negotiable. <laughs> she looks at me like, what are you talking about? But that's part of the joy of parenthood having those moments and those you know where you look at each other and you just start laughing and um, you just you know are filled with so much love and purpose and such a sense of purpose of wanting this little girl to have everything that she needs and you've been very open with infertility mm -hmm. uh, struggles with that obviously she's a blessing to be here yeah. um, have you had a chance to build a relationship with your surrogate because oh, I know that was a big part of your journey. Absolutely. I, we talked to her the other day. We oh, wow. FaceTime um, with my surrogate. And I, because Margo's now two, I've started to explain her unique and wonderful journey to this mm -hmm. earth. And that has been a blessing as well. Every day when I look at Margo, I just think I wouldn't have Margo if it weren't for her. When you talked to Hoda Kotb and you said, I think this was a couple years ago in 2021, and you said, I just hope I don't ever let her down. I just want to give her the world. So how do you measure success as a mom? It's so hard to measure success as a mom. I think we have to give ourselves grace as moms, as working parents. So I try to keep that in mind every day. but. I try to make sure she's happy that she has what she needs. I mean, my goal as a mom is to raise someone who is strong and independent, and I already see that in her. She just has that in her bones. I love that. You went to Harvard, right? Yes. You graduated with a degree in, Amer in American history. Has politics always been a passion yes. for you? When did that start? Yes. My love of politics started when I was young. My parents are very passionate about politics. My mom ran for city council. I was born and raised in the city of Philadelphia. And so it has always been just infused into who I am as a person. And I always have wanted to be a political journalist, a White House correspondent. And I'm so honored to be taking the baton from Chuck that he would pass it to me to be the next moderator. So Chuck said... She's been ready for a long time when talking about you ready for this meet the press position. You describe Chuck as your mentor. How does it feel to hear him say something like that? It took my breath away. Um, Chuck brought me to D.C. to cover the White House many years ago. I have learned almost everything I know about politics from Chuck Todd. And I just want to make sure that I am making him proud and that I'm building on the incredible legacy that he started and also the legacy of the show. And you're making history because, you know, a woman hasn't sat in that seat since, you know, the first woman started it. And that was in the, yeah, that was the 1950s, 40s and 50s. Uh, the, what, first black woman, mm -hmm. black journalist, I should say. That's important to mention. How does that feel for you to, to be able to be a person of color and be in that seat and show other people that that is possible? It is such an incredible honor. It's also a huge responsibility. And so I will sit in that chair and with the goal of wanting to reflect the voices all across this country from different backgrounds. And I think that that's a part of the responsibility and, and a part of the um, tradition that I will carry. Again, the goal of the moderator of Meet the Press is literally to hold our elected officials to account. It's the gold standard of Sunday um, political programs. And so I will be sitting in the chair in that spirit of really wanting to carry that great tradition forward.
Uh, she talks about the gold standard. I think a lot of us as journalists look up to her as the gold standard. She does such a great job on TV, has accomplished so much, and it's good to see her in the light as a mother yeah. and to hear what she has to say about her daughter. So that was very sweet. And such a nice person. She went through the station yesterday yeah, saying hello sweet. to everybody as she uh, prepared to do that interview with you and actually do some of her uh, Meet the Press Daily or Meet the Press Now uh, from our studio. So welcome to Kristen. Thanks for being here. The center of the political universe, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right now.